You're listening to Mega Man Maker from the Giga Boys here on Giga Boots. Hello, everyone, and welcome to We Play Your Mega Man Maker Levels. Number 83 or, or something. Hey, Bob. Hey. How's it going? All right. It's been a while since we've done this. Right? Well, it's probably too long. Uh, one might say a month and a half almost. Right? Yeah. Whoa. But not almost. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Um... But yeah, we got a level here from Ironhide1975, who weirdly enough put in his full fucking name in the form. Okay. It's a little weird. It's fine. I'm not sure why someone would do that. Why not? Can you uh, scroll the, the mouse off? Oh, yes. Thanks. There we go. Um, Because it was asking for the handle, just so I knew, you know, if I found the right level. Oh, man, we got lots of weapons here. Fuck I, it! I, just, just going for it. I'm playing right now. I... Yeah, you get this, Bob. You do you, man. I'll sit here and talk about Brigitte, princess of all Saiyans. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. Well, we need to get back up there. We got, we got lots of ways. You can just restart the level. That'll be faster. Nah, it's fine. You'll even try to- I some... feel like you're gonna inadvertently restart the level in a second here. Yes, that's probably true. <laughs> okay. This is uh, what you guys come here for. Yeah, you wanted to see that. You want everybody wants that. I think so. You know, if they didn't come here for Bob's goofy solutions to problems <laughs> that have easier solutions, I don't even know why they watch the channel. Right. So Bob, we did that Kirby uh, quick play. Yeah. Whereas the me and you and the Eric and you and Eric seemed very betrayed by the fact we hey. we did a version. It was Eric and you. No. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Me and you, and me and Eric. I don't think Eric would have dealt with me. <laughs> Even though I was not super negative. You weren't super negative. In but fact, I we weren't that negative. I, I feel like the opening and Oh, the, God! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the opening and everything else was pretty positive from us, in general. Probably more positive than we actually feel. Right. Because being negative isn't fun. It's huh. just something people should be honest about <laughs> of like hey this game a little a little too easy you know right kind of kind of unengaging one might say <laughs> with how easy it is that's fine <laughs> uh, Dan well, Reichert actually talked about uh, his experience with the game on the based on the final game the first two worlds is all he can talk about because the NDA right he talked about his experience with the game oh uh, <laughs> my god that is the most mega maker thing yes of just like, eh, here's where you should have jumped, nerd. <laughs> um, what an idiot. Based on <laughs> Mega Maker's now Jim Rat Gazer. <laughs> um, what a moron. Uh, <laughs> in any case, um, based on his experience with the first two mo uh, worlds uh -huh. in the game, exact same as ours. Not very engaging, not, not difficult to the point of bored boredom. You know? Yeah, that's always something that's... There's a delicate balance there, I feel. Some, some Kirby games do it better than others. Right. I feel like a lot of Kirby games are, err on the side of being so easy that it, you don't even have to engage with it. Right. Uh, he says as Bob pulls out the platform gun for a very simple Yoku block moment. I don't want to wait for the Yoku blocks! That's fine. Maybe you should... No? Okay. No, We're good. Just keep on rolling. Wonder if there's something to the right. Oh, well. Probably. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You got suction cup, man. You should get out of here. He's gonna murder you. Yes, he is. Where's my flight? Uh, brush really? Check, save me. Really? Really? <laughs> really? In your head, was that a Bayonetta cutscene? You hit the button, Rush Jet arrives, you do a cool flip onto it, just barely dodging the suction cup, dude? <laughs> gotta take the secret entrance out. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that was uh, an entrance up. So I'm gonna let you know right now. Uh huh. You should not try to get him with Rush Jet. <laughs> I got this. It's fine. Oh. What? Okay. What? I'll take it. That was a really easy level for Ironhide. Yeah. Ironhide usually sends us uh, more bullshitty levels, and I don't mean like bullshit as in terribly made. I mean bullshit as in he knows what he's doing. I mean, it is a uh, back from November. Maybe he hadn't honed his skills oh, yet. Oh, are you saying like this is an arc and yeah. we're experiencing it out of order? He used to be a guy who made sort of simple levels without an overarching idea and 
he lost his sanity at some point and just started making malicious levels to send us? I don't... I feel like there are too many weapons I could have... There are I, way I, I, too many I had, weapons. I had every opportunity to just cheese level. Yeah. But it wasn't bad, so I'm not going to vote it down. I'm just really? Not gonna vote it up. I don't feel like it was bad enough. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to say you go with you, right? Uh-huh. But I would have voted that down. There wasn't a single good hook in the whole level. The level title doesn't even work. Like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. I feel like something's missing there. Um, I feel like there wasn't a single room I remember as being, like, a well-designed room. There was just lasers and stairs. Plus, you yeah. had an E-take and an M-take by the end. Right. But, you know, you you can just stay neutral. That's fine. We we don't run this channel to piss people off, contrary to what some level creators may believe. Look, I didn't hate it. That's the way I need to look at Mega Maker these days. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. <laughs> I'm going to just start running this with Eric. Next up, we have Platforming is Fun by Luki Vavra. This has a decent amount of plays and a, a pretty decent score. Yeah. You always wonder with those. Like, what did they do to get people to play it? Are they just liked on the Mega Man Maker forms? Maybe. Maybe that's it. We got Mega Man Maker's Bomb. Okay. Boo, 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 boys. I'm slow, NATO. You know, it's kind of nice doing this series again. Yeah? Yeah. We don't have a chat to constantly monitor. Right. I'm not saying I hate the chat, but you guys gotta understand. It's it's work, you know? It's right. distracting. It's that, hard to just have a conversation with Bob. Or even talk about the level that much. <laughs> or even just have a conversation with Bob, even. Because, <laughs> you know, reading chat makes people despondent. Right. <laughs> Yeah, right? Do, 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 that was do, do, real do. Bad. Good thing you blew him to hell. Yeah. I feel like the bombs should be even more powerful than they are. Yeah. Don't worry, they're gonna add shoulder charge. <laughs> I think somebody was saying that in 5 there's a move that's kind of shoulder charge-ish. Shoulder charge? I'm uh, like, like, you know, like a tackle. Yeah? Yeah. Are they adding that? Uh, no, I'm saying they should. Okay. One. And two... In Mega Man 5, the Game Boy one. Uh-huh. God, I'm gonna just start calling it Rockman World 5. It's Mega Man so, so when I do that, Bob, yeah. just fucking keep up. <laughs> no, the console ones are, are Roman numerals. Wait, I thought the... I don't know! Fuck the American naming scheme! It's terrible! Uh, aim up. There we go. Yeah! Boy. Eyes are what works, I guess. Fucking... For some reason, that arc is making me think of the ending of Wero's Waldo on the NES made by Bethesda. He does this dumbass moon jump when you get to the moon, and it's just the goofiest, loosest thing ever. I was talking to my brother, my brother Steve and I. We just went to a family dinner, so we were talking about lots of stuff. Like, the insanity that his is arc server. <laughs> The guy who's in charge of raising the dinos commands them one at a time to attack, so they often get, like, eaten alive. But, uh... I guess this uh, is... Oh, what? What? Did... Is that... Uh, okay? okay? I don't think I've ever seen that. Okay, he can be he, hurt. Okay, okay, yeah. I was gonna say, if that's not his weakness, the torpedo's just gonna wreck him, isn't it? Wow. That's a weird thing to do. It's a weird thing to have one of your weapons kill him in four hits. Right. And it's heat seeking. And there's no mechanic to deflect it or anything. I don't. I honestly found the individual room design of this level interesting visually and gameplay wise also unorthodox. I don't know. I felt like there was like almost nothing going on there. It was insanely easy. I felt it was more it was... varied and more interesting than uh, the last level we played. It was visually interesting, yes. but literally nothing gameplay-wise. Like, I, I I, feel like it was way worse than the last one. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh! Well, the boss in this was tougher than the last one. That guy only took one shot. Frostbite? Frostbite? It smelled like the engine. Did you ever notice that? Did they? Is pretty sure. Spotify spelled like that? I I'm pretty sure. So. I, th I thought they spelled it like. It's well, it's, it's concatenated. I thought it was B I T, though. It's easy enough to look up. Let's see. Frostbite engine. Maybe it is with an I. Let me see. Yeah, it is. Huh. All right. That's a missed opportunity. Uh, yeah. Because it would make it clear that it's a tech thing. They don't want to do that. They want it to be fancy. <laughs> they want it to be fancy. <laughs> then why is it called Frostbite? Because it sounds vicious. Vicious? <laughs> so you vicious boots up Unity? <laughs> Yeah, whatever, play it. I'm leaving all that in. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Ow! 
fucking Iceman. What a bro. Wait, what, what is going on? Okay. I got bombs, is... so maybe I'm supposed to go up here. I don't... Well, maybe you should kill him to make that easier, but... Whatever. Whatever. There have any way you're gonna have to use the oil, so you're gonna have to kill him to give yourself the space necessary. There I doubt it's go. gonna work. I doubt you're gonna scroll. So let's... Let's see. Oh, he's to the right, so you need to be working your way all the way back to him. Then what was to the left? Right? No, left! <laughs> oh, I can't slide, by the way. I was like, man, Bob should be sliding. You're like, yeah, I should. Bob. <laughs> What's up? Ride it further. You have a double jump. You're not concerned about height. You're just <laughs> concerned about your ability to make it there. You got this. What are you not getting? Ride the oil slick further before you jump. So, like, you want me to ride right on the bottom yeah. part? Well, yeah. Like, so even a little bit closer. I mean, you can do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, what? it's a fucking double jump, there's, dude. There's nothing... What? What was the point of it? For your advanced tactical fight against that one dog? <laughs> <laughs> I like when you murdered that dude by... Man. You get cheesed out of that health. Right? Like no charge like, shot either, I assume. No. Okay. We wouldn't be in Mega Man 1 with that, with that. True. I remember when that dog was in Mega Man 1. Yeah. And that, that pea shooter thing. Uh-huh. And that dude to the left. The classic Mega Man 1 here. And the tadpoles. Which you now can't slide through that. So you have to take this very differently. Don't you have the fire shot from Fireman? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's, that's way more effective. That's the ticket. I love how it gives you the thing you need to beat it afterward. You're like, haha, you should have used that. <laughs> like the block as a hint. Ah. Yeah. It might have been before it, or at the top, above it at the beginning as well. I, I don't think it was. I didn't see it. By health, Bob has decided you're not necessary to win this battle. Jesus Christ, these assholes. Oh, yeah, a bomb would have killed them in one hit. Oh. This is some Mario structuring with these pillars. Yeah, well, what is this about? Yeah, he's giving you the hint every time afterward. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, that's geez. that's a godsend right. right there. Just barely gonna do this because of that. Yeah, this Ooh. Bob. So, Bob, I'm sorry to bring this up here. What's up? <sighs> Somebody in one of our comment sections was saying that... What? What? What are you supposed to do now? Oh, oh man, he's just barely visible over there. Dude. Yeah. You're gonna land those double hits. If only Iceman's pattern was predictable. <laughs> um, somebody was saying that Castlevania 64 uh -huh. is, uh -huh. a, is a better game uh -huh. than Double May Cry 2. Okay. I think they may be right, given the curve. I still say oh. nitroglycerin destroys that entire game. What does? Nitroglycerin. Oh, okay. I mean, it literally does destroy the game when you when you drop it. <laughs> okay, there was fire there, but there's an oil slick here. I guess it's reminding you that you could oil slick on top of that, and that would be way more convenient, way safer for the ice slasher. He's just ignoring me, ladies and gentlemen. No, he doesn't I, I want the help. He doesn't even care. I want the stuff. He doesn't even care. Give me the stuff. See your level? Fuck your level. Bob don't care. <laughs> get, get this out of here. I'm talking about Double May Cry 2 versus Castlevania 64. I just want to scream, run out the door, and never come back. That's what Bob's like. This is just... But uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I've had more fun uh, with Castlevania 64's opening 10 minutes. <laughs> like, even though that dropping slowly into the ravine thing is very early on, uh -huh. immensely more enjoyable than Devil May Cry 2 for me. Devil May Cry 2, I don't even think I beat the first level. <laughs> it's just such a boring, meandering first level. With no design. Yeah, no, it's... They're both tr just trash. But which one's trash-er? That's what people come to us for, Bob. I have... A whole lot of hatred for that, uh... This nitroglycerin portion of... 
Yeah. Of that game. Yeah, I, 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 I can understand that. It's like when I have to talk to people about Lords of Shadow. <laughs> where it's like you're not taking into account the fact they co-opted a long history of characters just to name throwaway villains that weren't even built up right. Yep. Or it's like, ah, uh, this one's Brawner. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I guess he might like paint. I mean, we got blood on his face. Yeah. So no, thank me. you. <laughs> oh, man, really? <laughs> yeah, okay. I know. It's a pretty rapid. They, it might have something to do with the I conversation noticed, that was forced in, I but. know this, this episode has a lot of downvotes and Bob's been playing. See, I've been saving you people. I've been saving you for You wanted me to demo the first one. Don't let him lie to you. No, no, no. I've been saving you. I've been saving you. And Bob, Bob's like, Bob's like, I hate all these levels. <laughs> I don't even like Mega Man. <laughs> and I'm like, then why why did you pretend? And he's like, because that's the only way I could make friends. And I'm like, that's sad. Gigaboots has been brought to you by our magnificent God King executive producers. Vincent Pover, Cywolf, Nicholas Cameron, Peter Meekum, E. Lee Broyles, Unit Number Two, Joshua Mattingly, Brendan O'Sullivan, Star Falcon, Trouncing Trogdor, and Spaceman Spiff. Thank you to all of our magnificent God King executive producers, and also these guys. Head on over to patreon.com slash gigaboots today and become one of these names.